Can you define a couple of significant differences that you found with Amazon versus Walmart? Most of my audience is looking to get into Walmart and they're very much Amazon sellers. So talk about a little bit of the transition. What's different? What's uh, challenging? What's, what's the significant differences? Yeah, so I think it's a couple of the significant differences are number one, um, you know, I always start by saying like, it's important to understand that like Walmart's the only real competition to Amazon. Like they're mm-hmm. big enough to compete, um, you know, from a logistics standpoint, from a financial standpoint, but they're also interested in competing. Like they're investing the money to compete with it. So they are, you know, doing a lot of things to enhance the selling experience um, for marketplace sellers. Um, but, you know, there's some core differences. So number one, the way your listings are structured, right? Walmart wants different types of listings than Amazon wants. They want shorter titles. They want unique content. They don't want the content that you have on Amazon. They want you to edit that and make it unique to Walmart because it helps them rank more within Google. Um, So, you know, I think it's important to understand like a lot of Walmart traffic is coming from Google, right? People searching certain products and Walmart sites rank really high. So, um, you know, when somebody searches for shoes, like a lot of times a Walmart link is going to show up sometimes even above the Amazon link on Google. So there's a lot of traffic coming from there. So a lot of what they do is focused on getting that traffic. Um, another thing's really important to note about Walmart is it's an omni-channel retailer, right? So there's, you know, the marketplace, um, which is the marketplace sellers, um, which is probably what most the audience is. Um, and then you have you know, 1P, which is um, they sell directly to Walmart. So just like you have Vendor Central on Amazon, you have 1P on Walmart. But in addition to that, you have 1P where Walmart buys the item from from brands and then sells it on walmart.com. But then you also have in-store items, right, that are in-store. So there's opportunity with that. And there's also more challenges with that. So the opportunity with that is if you do well within Walmart Marketplace, um, it's the best way to get your products into Walmart stores. Um, Walmart clearly said it. Um, and that's how I got my own brand into Walmart stores nationwide in like one of the hardest category supplements for my one of my other brands. Um, and it was through doing um so selling on marketplace, um, showing that we um work on marketplace and then getting that, you know, getting that into stores. So there's like that's the advantage of that. Um, kind of part that 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 that's part of the ecosystem. The disadvantages for market for sellers is that. You know, you're going to have to compete with these brands that are, their products are in stores. So they're going to show high up and they're going to have low co- low prices because they're doing much more volume and there isn't going to be shipping costs. So because they could choose pickup and delivery. So, um, you know, there's that challenge there. And it's important to kind of understand the ecosystem. Um, it's uh, other important things is like the products that you'll do really well with on Walmart might be the products that you struggle with on Amazon. Mm-hmm. For example, if you have like a beauty brand and um so we have we you know once i got really into walmart we launched our agency where we help brands and one we've came across so many interesting brands um that like are really successful on amazon one brand for example um sells beauty products on amazon and they have like these multi-use oils that do really really well right but then they have like vitamin c serums that don't do well at all because vitamin c serums so competitive and on amazon it's hard to do well with that but with their multi-use oils they're more unique and they do really really well with that on Walmart, there isn't enough of a market for multi-use oils, but for vitamin C serums, by just doing a few proper things, you could rank in the top positions, right? Because it's not that competitive. So the very generic products, the more, um, you know, open, the, the bigger category products, like those ones will, could do really well on Walmart. So it's important to kind of understand that when like you're looking at your catalog and seeing if it's the right fit for Walmart, like if you have products that, you know, people, you know, um, there's a high volume of people that shop for it. There's a strong enough market on Walmart where you can make significant sales and you grow with the platform, right? Walmart's growing at a much faster rate than Amazon percentage wise. So like you grow with the platform.